The War of the Wall is Tony Cade Bambala's best known story. It is often taught in schools in the US. I'm not going to give a close analysis of it, but I do want to introduce it and give an, a critical overview. Even though this story is about children, it is not meant just for children, it's not a children's story. I think there's a lot to discuss in the context of issues of pride and resistance in it. This video will offer an overview of the story in those terms. Tony K. Barra was an African-American author and activist. She was born in 1939 and raised in New York. She added the Bambara as a last name when she discovered that this was the name of the group or tribe uh, some of her ancestors were from before being taken as slaves from Africa. Thus, even her name shows pride in her heritage and where she comes from. The story is told in the first person by a young black boy. The story begins with a kind of in invasion. A woman artist starts painting on a wall that the narrator and his cousin Lou use for their games. The artist is a stranger and comes from a different state. A strange, uh, her strangeness is emphasized in the scene where she asks for vegetarian food. There is a sad strain concerning this wall as well that you might miss if, for, if you're reading the story for the first time. The narrator and his cousin chisel a name of an older friend of theirs who died in the Vietnam War. The boys feel their territory is being invaded by this artist and they plan to fight back. I think that their fighting back gives us an example of protest and resistance. Even if at, in the end of the story we learn that it was a misdirected resistance. They want to prevent the artist's plan from having uh, they want to prevent the artist from creating a mural. I won't get into the history of it, but you need to know that murals, paintings directly on walls, are often used by black artists and other minorities to show pride and to protest. It's a quite common sight in American cities to find such murals covering large parts of buildings. To give an example, this is Charles White's 1943, The Contribution of the Negro to Democracy in America. It is uh, in its uh, modernistic collage-like style, it depicts significant inspirational African-American figures like the anti-slavery anti fighters, Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, and Nat Turner. At the same time as it shows uh, some figures fighting or working in a, a dignified manner, it also shows black men in chains so as to remember the, and protest the extreme treatment that they suffered in America. Here are some, here are some more examples, some from after the story was written. We may ask why murals are important, and the answer might be that they are very public art. They speak to the whole community. Anyone who walks down the street can see the mural. They can therefore be thought of speaking to and for the community in a way that art... They can therefore be thought of as speaking for and to the community in a way that art pre uh, presented in museums or galleries does not in more restricted spaces than the street cannot speak to everyone. The mural painted in the story is similar to the one we saw. It includes uh, famous African Americans like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X Alongside musicians like Louis Armstrong and Billie Holiday, described in their iconic looks, but not named. Perhaps more importantly, the mural 
incorporates people from the boy's street, including the boy, the narrator, himself, and his cousin Lou, and, their fa and his father. The children uh, are shown learning and exploring, and the man who looks like uh, the boy's father is protecting them. And the narrator tells us, and the more I looked, the more it looked like the fierce man was not so much guarding the kids, the narrator tells us, as defending their right to do what they were doing. So he's not um, protecting them, he's protecting their civil human rights to be children, to explore, to learn. The painting is about the struggle for freedom and pride. It's about a better future. Personally, I find uh, the passage describing the, uh, the mural very, very moving. The story ends with a kind of twist that shows that the painter was never an invader from the outside. The mural is dedicated in memory of my cousin Jimmy Leons. The man who died in Vietnam and whose name the boys carved on that wall. The painter was never just a stranger, but always deeply connected to the community. Her cousin, her, her deceased cousin, lived there. Even though uh, the story is told from a child's perspective, the story is about how art can inspire and be connected to the artist's community. The, the people and the artist works for will not always immediately understand the connection and the worth of the art. They might even resist it. However, at least for Kate Bambara in this story, they eventually will. He chose a black artist representing and working for her community with a lot of pride. Thank you for listening.